let's talk a little bit about the TSCA PBT restrictions. So uh, TSCA is the United States Toxic Substances Control Act. Uh, it's implemented by the Environmental Protection Agency or EPA. And this was actually uh, implemented, these requirements, in January of 2021. And what happened was the EPA passed some final rules banning or restricting five persistent bioaccumulative and toxic substances. Uh, now, four out of five apply to articles. So four out of those five apply to actual substances present in articles. This has caught the industry by surprise because historically, TSA had not applied these kind of requirements to articles, only to raw chemicals. So electronics manufacturers were not even tracking TSA for potential restrictions because TSA didn't provide those kind of restrictions until now. So uh, caught off guard industry only was provided with 60 days to comply with this. They published it in January, made it effective March. And so industry immediately pushed back and got a 180 day delay on the enforcement of PIP 3.1, the one substance of the five that, had, that had, industry had concerns on. It was followed back again by another pushback to March 8th, 2022, and then finally extended again to October 31, 2024, as the supply chains continue to struggle to come up to speed on PIP 3.1. Okay. So when we look at the substances that are under, under control by these regulations, you see the PIP 3.1 is the only one that has high risk of being in electronics. This is something that we know is present in electronics in some places, but we don't know where because we've never been tracking it as a substance of concern. Unlike DECA BDE, which has been tracked as a substance of concern for over a decade. And so the supply chain is fully aware of where the substance is used and is able to determine whether or not it's present. It's also largely been eliminated from the electronic supply chain because of past restrictions associated with that. The HCBD, PC, TP, and TTBP, not really of too concern here because we're not going to find those in any meaningful amounts present in electronics, uh, at least not that we've found, right? So our main concern is PIP31 as an industry with a DECA BDE concern is kind of a lower level concern. Learn more by viewing the full length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.